Here's why the Apple Watch Series 7 is the only Apple Watch you'll ever need. With this Apple Watch, I can check the time, remotely control music when I cannot find my iPhone, ping my iPhone when I cannot find my iPhone, set timers hands-free, check the weather to see if my car will start, Get reminders to drink water every hour. Track my workouts. Check my blood oxygen level to see if I'm breathing. So, if my calculations are correct, then this watch should improve your life by almost 7%. We all know that these little things don't change our life, but they improve it. The Apple Watch 8 has nothing on the Apple Watch 7, not even the Series 9. Oh, okay. There is this new double tap feature that certainly wasn't already available on every other Apple Watch. Okay, no. There are actually two differences. The first one is a skin temperature sensor. That can tell you if you're hot. And the other one is a car crash detection sensor. Like why should I pay 200 extra dollars so that the Apple Watch can detect if I was in a car crash and potentially save my life? Maybe, maybe I should have paid for that. Since the Apple Watch 6, there has been no difference in the CPU. And who cares about what chip it has? It's not like you're gonna play Minecraft on it, right? I decided on getting the gold stainless steel version with the super expensive gold Milanese loop costing around 20 bucks at Walmart. The reason I recommend getting the stainless steel is because the screen is actually made out of sapphire. And you might be like, who cares? But wait. That's the second hardest transparent material after diamond. It matters. It matters because my Apple Watch SE? Bruh. Within the first, like, two hours, the screen was scratched like my 2004 That's the reason I have chosen the stainless steel. Because one day, I saw someone at work using the Series 3 stainless steel watch from, like, 1999, and it had literally no scratches. The one thing some people may be disappointed by is the battery life. Some people say, I don't want another thing to charge. And I get that. Some people may want to use it to track their sleep but I personally charge it overnight. Because I'm scared of three things. The battery exploding overnight. When you lay down on your Apple Watch, it could overheat and potentially explode. Me crash testing the watch over the wall. And finally, being depressed because the watch would tell me my sleep schedule is shit. The Series 7 design was carried to the Series 8 and 9. So design-wise, your friends won't judge you for not having the newest model. Compared to the Series 6, Apple has slimmed down the bezels by a lot. They made the display 70% brighter, and the charging speed has been bumped up by 33% on the Series 7. Do you remember when contactless cards came into existence? It was so easy to just bring up your wallet, find the right card, put it on the terminal, put in your PIN code, then put away your card and your wallet back in the pocket. Then the Apple wallet was introduced and it looked like this. Double tap, face in, bam. But when you have an Apple Watch, that's it. Now we get to the best part. The Apple Watch saves you up to 4.2 hours of your everyday life. Because when you receive an email without having an Apple Watch, it looks something like this. You look at your phone, uh, new email, you swipe up. Wait, what did I want to check? Ah, I've got Instagram. Boom, 4.2 hours gone. But with the Apple Watch, you receive an email. You look, new email, great. And you go on with your life activities. You're not going to believe this, but Apple Watches are usually connected to an iPhone. So if you're looking for an iPhone and don't know which one to get, then this video should help you out 